Hello hackers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will explore and map as we conduct a live scan on a special target, scanme.nmap.org. This site is set up by the nmap project for educational purposes, providing a safe environmental for users to practice scanning legally and ethically. Let's dive in. Nmap or Network Mapper is a versatile tool used for network discovery and security assessments. For running nmap on a site, you need to have an explicit permission to scan. Remember to adhere to legal and ethical guidelines and only scan systems for which you have authorization. So let's try to run nmap on scanme.nmap.org. This process is going to take few seconds or few minutes depending on the nmap's capability. As you can see, there are few ports that are open or you could say filtered and these ports are open to run or to execute any script or any kind of intrusion to it. Now, as we have discovered what all ports are, what all ports are open, we can also scan for specific ports reducing the time to scan the ports. Now say if I am only interested in trying to search for port 22 and port 80, I can run the same command by adding the hyphen p 22, 80 the ports that I want to scan on this host. Now this action actually completed in less than one second and in this way I have just got the direct ports that are open. Now let me try to see what all are the service versions on scanme.org. To run that I have to add the flag hyphen s small and caps v to check for all the service versions or you could say what all are the versions that are running on a specific open port. Now this is again going to take us some time. As we have got the output on the screen, you could see that on port number 22, we have the OpenSSH 6.6 .6 running and on port 80, we have the Apache 2.4 running on a Ubuntu service. Now with this, we can actually have our scripts ready in such a way that they run directly on these type of versions or we can try to exploit a specific vulnerability on a specific version. Note, these versions can be accurate or may not be accurate, but most of the times they are. So next up, we have the aggressive scan. Uh, I have run an aggressive scan on scanme.map.org and you could see that it gives me a comprehensive report. Now, when I talk about comprehensive, it's very thorough. It reveals detailed information about the target. It, it's, it's more intrusive, executing a battery of tests to provide a wealth of insights. As you could see that it has provided me a lot more than versions, a bit of the SSH host keys as well, so on and so forth. And also, we have to use this type of scan with caution as the intrusion detection systems are more likely to catch these type of scans up and block us on the network. Moreover, a legal action can also be taken. Now, it also gives us the information about the OS detection. So, what all scans we ran ahead, it, it's complete uh, report for all of those. Now, to avoid all of this, to avoid having this uh, comprehensive reports, we can also talk about stealth. Now, the, now it's it's like a scan which can be which is like a ninja in the night, you know, sending SYN packages without completing the TCP handshakes. What is stealth basically trying to mask the identity, or you could say mask the scanner. To run this, I would be using a flag called as SS on the scanme.nmap.org. Now this, please understand that this could be a very slow process and then, okay, I, this also requires the root access. So let me run this via root. Now 
Now this scan would take a lot of time and let's see what would be the results out here. Now these are very stealthy. It avoids completing the TCP handshake. It will not even get a response back with the acknowledgement and the detection systems may not be able to understand by uh, it may also be something like the systems may find it uh, as a loss of package like it would not acknowledge and then this is it is efficient but may not work against hosts which are protected by firewalls so it would be uh, bounced back from a firewall so these are the two types of uh, scanning techniques which would be data intrinsic but may and may not be uh, suitable for getting most of the information out of it. Now let's talk about few real world examples of how you would be using it as a network administrator. Now as a network admin if I am asked to identify all the active devices on the corporate network, a basic Nmap scan will help me identify the host and open ports which facilitate the network management. Or let's talk about a penetration testing scenario where a security professional might use the stealth scan to access the security posture of the target system. The stealthiness of the stealth scan help us to avoid any detection by intrusion prevention systems now it, this this will also give me an insight of how we can identify such request and create a infrastructure around it now if i if i talk about the aggressive scans so basically as a security consultant i may be asked to do a security audit to get the detailed information about my, the client's network so this scan can reveal the vulnerabilities outdated software versions and potential security risks. So based on that, we can send uh, specific uh, alerts onto those systems who own those systems uh, to and ask them to upgrade their systems to a certain service um, versions or, or to the versions which have lesser vulnerabilities. And, uh, and then talking about the operating system detection, which was one of the uh, flags in the scan, maybe we can ask the host owners to upgrade to a specific operating system which has lesser vulnerabilities so on and so forth so as we conclude our journey through the nmap scans remember to choose the right scan based on the type of objective and always ensure that you have proper authorization before scanning any system thank you and meet you in the next video